My passion has always been to be part of my country's journey to transform, to change uh, our economic, our social, our history. I found this uh, opportunity to come to protect and conserve the, the, the mountain gorillas. It started with the passion to see them. And then, you know, the first day, the first year, I said, you know, this is, this is going to be my life. Mountain Gora Conservation is not just the passion of, you know, being with them as a researcher, but now, you know, uh, are contributing to the livelihoods of people, to the national economy, even to the protection of uh, the nat other national parks and the wildlife in Rwanda. It's amazing, so it's a, it's a passion, it's a purpose that grew. Spending that, that, that much time with the gorillas, seeing the, the silverback, it's a lifetime experience, life-changing. It's a critical time for, for the mountain gorillas. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, communities were saying this is no hope for their survival. They were going to be extinct. And uh, so understanding the species, uh, how like, the mountain gorillas, how they are vulnerable, and then trying to, what do you do to reverse the situation? So we have really succeeded in creating this amazing uh, engagement and involvement, uh, uh, bringing on board even the former portraits. Uh, and so having these uh, communities, but not just benefiting, paying back and helping us to, to protect the park, now we are looking uh, in the future and trying to learn lessons and what we can do to continue improving and creating more benefits and thinking sustainability for the future generation to enjoy what we are enjoying. It's possible to create a future of hope if we change our actions today.